So with ductal carcinoma in situ, there are a, a number of questions that come up right away in terms of what do I need to do. First thing is to think about the big picture. The big picture is we know now with 30 or 40 years of study in millions of women now that actually ductal carcinoma in situ or DCIS by itself does not cause a survival disadvantage. And that's a very different situation, for example, than the situation of a diagnosis with invasive cancer, which can be more aggressive and which we think about and treat more aggressively. On the other hand, with DCIS, what it can do is there can sometimes be a local recurrence in the same breast over the next five to 10 years of that DCIS or the development of a new cancer. And so what we need to think about is what's the right amount of treatment for me, right, to uh, get a good outcome going forward. There is now, which is good news, a new test called the Oncotype DX DCIS score that can help identify how aggressive to treat that DCIS. Will surgery alone, which is for many patients going to lead to a good outcome, good enough for me, or do I have a, an aggressive kind of DCIS, a more aggressive kind, where I should be adding radiation therapy as well? And that's the reason then to think about and get uh, a DCIS score. Shh.